What is going on guys? It is Parker here. In today's video, we are driving over to Patrick's house. He has some tubs that he built a really cool box for. So we're gonna go check that out, uh, put it up on the DB meter and see what it does. So really excited for that. Let's get to it guys. Okay guys, so we're here with Patrick. What sub are we gonna be messing with today? So today we're gonna be messing with the um, HD six and a half. About this sub has a double stacked motor, two inch uh, voice coal, it's American made. Um, this motor weighs 105 ounces. Um, it's spaced from the motor to the basket to allow for more X Max. Um, these subs right here, they're all made in the USA uh, by EM Audio. Awesome. Let's get this thing in there. Let's get her in there, yes, sir. So, we're going to be out in two of them. Just like that. So what kind of box is this? So this right here, this is a series tune six order. It's meant for low power. So about a thousand watts roughly. Well, I guess let's get these things uh, screwed in and then we'll start testing them out. It's all wired up. Okay, so we got the box in here. We're testing it out. Let them break down a little bit. Sounds pretty good. So we're gonna play some test tones and just see where this box peaks. So we're gonna start out with uh, 52 hertz and go down from there. All right, 139.5. We're gonna actually go up now. 54 hertz now. is good. Do one hertz. Oh yeah. 140.6. Uh let's try 50 hertz. 50 hertz. One forty flat. Forty five hertz. Thirty five hertz. Still not bad. Let's try thirty hertz. Thirty hertz. <laughs> Getting windy back there. <laughs> Fifty one hertz, got the volume turned up a little bit. Let's see what it does. One forty one point two. Got it turned up again, fifty one hertz. Turned up some more. 141.5. So we've been blasting on these things and they are not even warm. I mean, even like up to like the spider and the coil. So just keep testing them out. So we got the door open this time. We're gonna try 51 Hertz again and see if that helps. That is good for two six and a halves. Okay, we got it turned up a little bit more. Let's reset it. Let's see if that helps any. One forty three point seven. Got her turned up again. Let's see if we can get one forty five. Nope, still one forty three point seven. Let's get another try. So we had this wired to four ohms, but we're gonna wire it down to one ohm, just so we can see if we can squeeze out that extra dB since my amp was getting into the clipping territory. Okay, so what's the advantage of this kind of box versus just a regular ported box? Well, uh, the advantage of this box over a regular ported box would be uh, that you'd have broader bandwidth uh, if it's tuned properly. Um, it's, it's really honestly all about the tuning. Between, gotcha. between a six order and a regular ported box. Uh, regular ported box, it would, 
it would peak closer to where you tune it at. Um, and then it would kind of, depending on the design of the box, it would roll off most likely. Gotcha, cool. Well, let's get this thing finished up. I'm gonna do a test at some lower power, see what that does and go up from there. It's 51 Hertz. Fifty one hertz. Trying it again. Hell yeah. One forty five point six. Okay, so we got the AM one hooked up. So we can see how much power we're pushing to them. Fifty one hertz. That was 6,765 watts. I think it blew one. 131, <laughs> but we might have blown something. That's all right though. It's all testing. We'll get them reconed and get more out of it. Next time we'll probably do a little bit smaller interchamber because pushing that much power with a box that big for two six and a half is oh, definitely kind of crazy but we got 145.6 out of it before and they took it for forever too we've been out here for a long time testing these out so look at that that is called scent <laughs> that is full up scent what happens when you put over 3,000 watts per sub on a little look at, look at the Look at the former, it's all bent up. The coil's still intact though, so you know they yep. use good coils. Definitely. Oh yeah. The, the, what, came, what came undone was the spider pack. Yep. The spider pack came undone to uh, lift it up a little bit right here from the glue, but I mean, you, you can oh. expect that when you're pushing over 3K per sub. On a little teeny, teeny and sub that, like that, this. That is scent. That is 100% scent. Let's, let's check out the other one. Let me get this last screw out. Same story here. Yep. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Sent. Coil left the gap. <laughs> spider came undone. This spider, it all stayed intact though that, with yep. the glue job. The bottom spider was fine. The bottom, the bottom top part one of the spider just came unloaded a little bit. And Next time I'm gonna get the, these are these right here. They're they're just stock built. They're not built for burps or anything. It's just stock. Um, next time I'm gonna get them built for SPL. There you go. So um, take a little bit more power. Yeah. I mean, shoot, the, the triple joint up there stayed intact. Yep. Uh, I didn't check the other one. Yeah, uh, let's see if I can see it. Yeah, triple joint still intact. So Eagle did a good job with this one, building it. Shoot, that's a lot of power though. A ton of power. All right, guys. Well, that was a lot of fun. Those little 6.5s did awesome. Took a ton of power, and I cannot believe we got a 145.6. Now, I don't think I got any videos of them playing music, so really sorry about that. I meant to, but was just so excited about doing the DB test that we kind of forgot to do that. But we did test it out, and it sounded really, really good in that box. Having that six-order box, uh, just all ranges of bass sounded so good. So it was really a really awesome box. Prop to Patrick for building that. He did an awesome job. And props to EM Audio for making awesome little subs. Those things are so cool. I will leave a link to their website down in the description below. So go check them out. So yeah, guys, that was nuts. Cannot believe those subs took so much power. Of course, being that small, there's no room for a big spider or anything. So the fact it took over 3,000 watts per sub to unload them was just crazy. Now y'all gotta keep in mind, the subs did not actually blow. The coils were totally fine, not damaged at all. It's just there was too much x max and the subs unloaded. They popped up enough to where the coil got on top of the magnet because the spider just couldn't handle the power and it uh, came undone. So yeah, guys, wild, very crazy, awesome little subs. Anyway, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed that. Stay tuned for more videos. If you enjoy seeing some of these little teeny six and a half inch or eight inch subs, let me know. Maybe I'll keep making some videos like that if that's what y'all really want to see. But, of course, more videos coming, so stay tuned for that. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your day.